Hello from TeenYetDragon.com. This is Ji Sifu. And today we're going to talk about some very interesting topic related to ghost spiritual stuff. But this is more about your home. A very um, important thing that you should listen to. And of course, visit our uh, Teen Yet Dragon YouTube channel for more videos. And also we already talked about all these theories with what is a ghost, how to deal with ghosts, haunted house issues and all that stuff already. So I expect you should already know a bit of that already. Now let us dig into today's topic. Now when you move into a house, okay, like, like a house, like where you live, okay, or an office, there are always nine dimensions there. You cannot um, predict or see the other dimension, what's there. Because they're not the same place, like not the same dimension. It's not physical to you. It's physical to the thing in that dimension, but not like, like we're, we're not physically going to see each other, okay? So um, at, at the same time, like right here, you see there's a table stuff, and the other dimension here may be a park. Maybe a planet, maybe some other thing, you don't know, right? So um, we, we see that we have nine dimension in nine, not nine major dimension in this place, the same place, okay? Now, ghosts that you can see and feel and touch are in what we call the dimension six, which is the Ling Gai. Now, this uh, dimension is also corresponding to your spiritual soul and your spiritual energy body, the Ling One and the Ling Sun, okay? Now, because your spiritual body, the Ling Sun, is like a particle form of your mind power, your brain power, whatever you call that, these energy particles sense the souls or the, the uh, ghosts or whatever you call that spirit, and that's why you can feel those things. In our previous lectures, we already explained uh, that these ghosts, they are not the being who pass away. They're the residue energy. Like bacteria. they're not good for this world. And they are not the person, okay? Now, we already explained in the other video with what the accident ghost thinks is about. Like a massive death situation. And then, you know, when um, we talked about how these energies can be getting more and more powerful and because they get more and more compact with more energies, these energies right here, it gets so big and the frequency of the energy get higher and higher, it just move on to the next dimension and you cannot feel that stuff anymore. When ghosts are still very low energy, low power, you get to see them. When they're more high power, they're like more condensed, more packed up, you don't see them anymore, you don't feel them. Because this is dimension eight, this is our place. Dimension six, the normal type of ghost that you see and feel right here. Six and eight, they're very close, okay? And then when these things get stronger, it gets to five, and when it gets back to four, you don't see it anymore. And when it gets to dimension one, closer to that place, basically it gets um, converted back to what we call uh, a very subtle, deep dimension. And that deep dimension is not to be felt. You do not feel that thing anymore, but it will affect us. It will affect everything uh, from, from number two to number nine dimension. So energies circulate. They circulate through dimensions. Our energies here also circulate. When we think, focus our mind, our mind power, our will, our drive to light, to, to live, to do things, will have this, what we call the focus or concentration energy. These concentration energy of human being, the, the mind power, the super willpower of, of us, are in what we call dimension nine. The dimension nine energy will circulate into dimension one. And it just go keep going on and on and on. That's how energy circulates. So, when you live or move into a new house, you don't know what is in the other dimensions. There could be, like before the building is built, there could be some other history um, that is not dealt with or not dealt with properly. There could be some old history, like, for example, okay, say 
there's a plane accident, whatever, and then, you know, a bunch of people died, or a few people died there, and it wasn't treated properly. It wasn't treated well. And these subtle, uh, concealed or packed up subtle negative energies, it's inside there. Well, you cannot see or feel the stuff when you move in, which doesn't bother you much, but then these things over a period of time, these things will give you influence and they shape your or they control your potential. They will take away your potential because they are there affecting you subtly in this place because you live with the same location of them but they're in another dimension and so when energy flows through every day it just it's like a filter with a lot of toxic stuff there air flows through everything that's come out is going to get dirty you do not feel the stuff but it's going to contaminate into your lungs so the same thing happened here when you move in your house it is very important to clean up the ninth dimension now in magic, in this magic stuff that we do, we call this chutsat. Chutsat is to reset the dimensions at your place right here. Not like going to extend all the way out, okay? Not going to like go, oh, I'm going to clean up the whole neighborhood. You cannot do that. You don't own the neighborhood. Your power is not enough. What we want to do is clear up the whole um, location you're living in right now and at least where you're staying, where you're living, where you're in control of, you can reset, neutralize the energies of the ninth dimension. These negative energy, whatever it is, it could be from other th things from the history, like accidents, haunted house, okay? Now maybe like 500 years ago, this place is haunted, who knows, right? You don't know. Um, there could be some other people who died at your place not not today, but maybe like 500 or 6,000 years ago. Who knows? There are a lot of stuff that can happen. You don't know. And there's no way to know. And it's not necessary to know. What we want to do is clear up the energy to, to um, reset or neutralize the energies of this dimension to 9, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We neutralize the energies everywhere, all nine dimensions of this place, and that is what we call chut sat. Chut is to out, okay, kick out. Sat, sat is not a bad thing, okay. Sat is a condensed energy that um, is like this, okay. When when you're about to uh, rush through something, there is a resistant force. This resistant force that creates the momentum of the next happening is called a sat. Now, we always have sat in our life. For example, when you go to school, there's competitive stuff going on. There's like competition. Now you have a lot of sat around you, the resistant force that is stopping you to win the competition, to race uh, and win, to go over everyone, right? This resistant force is healthy because it makes you have the desire to move faster. Now with sat around in nature, this condensed resistant force, it can create a lot of good things, but there are also bad things like a negative sat, okay? So there are good and bad sat. Now what we want to do is out the sat, the negative ones. Because there are resistant force, blocking stuff from transmitting, blocking our circulation of the ninth dimension. These energies from you, your willpower, your mind, you want them to circulate to dimension nine, to dimension one, to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you can then have a nice flow of energy going on. When that energy flows from dimension uh, eight to nine to one and back to eight, you get a nice circulation and you can have a better life. Your life gets smoother. Now when all these crap energy that it got su uh, suppressed it into dimension one, they all packed up there. It's not only like they're eating up your life force. They are also a sat. Sat as in like a um, very subtle but very 
very much like a blockage there. So when you're dimension eight right here, you think about things you want to have, whatever done, you have willpower goes to dimension nine. Nine goes to one. Now this is blocking from one to go to two. So what happened is it goes to your intention and intention cannot put into action. So when you live in a place that have a lot of sat in this dimension one, you will have lack of motivation to do things. You have like things in the mind get stuck. You cannot think of ideas. You, you have this clog right here and you don't know how to put things to action. You have like, oh, I want this, I want this. And then you don't know how to do it. You cannot do it. You have all these plans you want, but you just stuck when you're trying to plan things. And that is because the dimension one is stuck with these sat. Now by doing chut sat, the magic that we do, the chut sat, you can call it cleansing or busting, whatever you call that, whatever name you want to call it. Chinese, we call chut sat, is to plunge these things out, to plunge it through and dissolve it. To What we do is we take the foo, the yellow paper thing, okay, the foo. Now you can watch our uh, other videos that, that talked about what is a foo, of course. Now we take that foo, a special one, to absorb the sat, okay, go around your house, absorb it into this foo. And then we open a portal to um, inside a pot. Now this portal will be portaling to an other place, another dimension that can recycle all these negative energy that you just absorb. And then we dump by burning, dump into the pot and, and then shoot these energy out of your house. And these things will be transferred into an other dimension that can dissolve all these things. They will neutralize all these energies back into a raw natural resource form, which means they're no longer what they are. They are no longer the, um, the negative, the harmful bacteria form. They are now in a form that is neutralized to like say, oh, this element here, it turned back to soil. This is turned back to water, you know, that kind of stuff. It's neutralized and they, they go back to a neutralized state. Now, if you have an altar with our lineage, the, the, this special altar can also turn all these neutralized energy into useful resources and then turn them into energy like fuel. And you can use them to do magic, to do other things, which empowers your altar too. If you don't have an altar, basically they neutralize and empower the energy of this dimension and it just push the circulation better. Now, just being able to clean up the places very important, but can you keep the place clean and can you secure your own little castle right here is an other issue. Being able to clean is good, but you also need to know how to secure. And that is why we, the exorcists, and this lineage is so professional because everything is a full package. You cannot just do a cleaning and then you don't know how to secure to prevent things from coming back. And also the power you can use to clean, the power you can secure is a, another huge topic. Now, how to seal up your house or how to, what is the difference between a seal and a blockage? It's very different. Now, these are some very professional exorcism knowledge, which I'll be sharing with you in another video, the next video. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, and visit our website, uh, teenyetdragon.com and our YouTube channel for more exciting videos. We have a lot of other videos up there, so check those out and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.